Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Michael Romero and I just realized that I am investing somewhere between 150 to 175, $175 a week through all of my investment accounts. <laughs> that being growth, retirement and dividend accounts. So I figure I haven't shown you one of these accounts. So I'm going to go, I'm going to take you guys through them and show you where I'm putting my money spreading my money out through these uh, four different accounts, you could say. Yeah, these total investment accounts are only four that I'm gonna be showing you today. Um, and this is excluding any savings accounts, any high yield savings accounts, CDs, uh, any swing trading accounts that I have. Um, Cause I do have a uh, brokerage account strictly for swing trading that I do not show you guys on here, but uh, I'm gonna be leaving those out today. So I'm gonna show you my four main accounts for investing and the total number for these accounts is nineteen thousand two hundred twenty six dollars and seventeen cents almost twenty grand and one of these makes up the majority and one of these makes up the next and then the next and the next <laughs> you know how it goes uh but the four we're gonna look at today is acorns m1 finance robin hood and merrill lynch but before we get into that um over the past couple weeks, I've been holding a contest to see who is going to win a shirt just like this one. Shout out to my mic right there too. But uh, who's going to win a shirt just like this one? And the winner for the contest, if you don't know what the contest was, all you have to do is like, subscribe, and leave a comment. If you already subscribed, all you have to do is like and leave a comment, and you will automatically uh, entered to win a shirt just like this one, a Money Monday shirt. And the winner for the contest is k d k a y d capital d uh, so k d look if you're watching this uh go ahead and hit me up with a email or if you have me on instagram financial enlightenment michael go ahead and dm me on there if not then uh leave a comment and we'll figure out a way to uh get in touch with one another uh, so let's go ahead and get into where my money is going in these accounts this 20 grand and why i have um so many different accounts and basically the reason why i have so many different accounts these four accounts is i like to I like to um, broaden my horizons. I want to use different platforms for different things. And I just, I'm a personal believer in spreading your money out, um, moving your money around, right? So if something's not working here, I can count on this to be working. Uh, that's basically my whole mentality of this, that and diversification. And I really do think it is uh, <laughs> good for the YouTube channel. It gives me more reasons to make more videos for you guys. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, anyway, let's go ahead and get into this. And by the way, if you haven't hit that like button, go ahead and hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and click that little red subscribe button, turning it gray because we are trying to get to 400 subs by the end of the month, right? So that would be great if we could. If not, my minor goal is to get to uh, 350 and we're at 335 right now so it'd be great to get to 400 by the end of the month but okay i'm gonna quit talking now <laughs> but uh anyway let's hop into the phone you guys <clears throat> let's start with acorns so acorns here guys is the newest and um smallest account it's 102 dollars and 97 cents um I just started it maybe a month ago. And if you don't know what Acorns is, they um, basically you can put money in every week and they also uh, subtract or they also add the difference between the nearest dollar and your previous purchase on your debit card. So if you buy a coffee for $1.50, they'll round it up to $2 and they'll split the difference between $1.50 and 50 cents and put that in account in your account for you guys. That's why I'm using it just to see, you know, what I can make over the next year. Um, and I'm actively investing $7 a week into this. <laughs> and, but for my roundups, I am uh, usually $3 somewhere around there a week or five bucks a week or something like that. So, um, or maybe five bucks every two weeks. Cause I don't really use my debit card a whole lot. I usually use cash. I usually take my cash out at the beginning of the week and that's my allowance that I'm gonna spend for the week. Um, but yeah. 
I only gained 75 cents in the past month and I do have an aggressive portfolio, but that is pretty much acorns, you know? I'm getting used to it. Hopefully it does better. Um, probably in another two months, I'm gonna do an actual video on it, breaking down what has gone on since my first video I did at the beginning of January, I wanna say it was, yeah, January. So that's seven to $10 a month. I, uh, a week I'm putting into uh, acorns. All right, next we have M1 Finance. And as you can see here, I'm up $38, I'm sorry, I'm up 38.42%. Now, unfortunately, I didn't sink all of my money into this custom pie that I have here, but um, it's okay because I'm up over $100, almost 40% on this portfolio. As you can see here, um, I only invested $678.54. My market gain is $116.89 with my earned dividends of $4.19. Usually I do do only you know dividend uh, videos on Robinhood, but this is a dividend slash growth account, more for growth. Um, I can show you guys some of the positions that I have here. Tesla, obviously one of my biggest contributors for why I'm up 38%. I'm actually up $136 on there. So Tesla, Activision, Realty Income, Win, Google, Apple, Amazon, and Sego, Vu, Lamar, and SPXL. Uh, so I'm putting $5 a day, which is $35 a week, into this bad boy. <clears throat> and that is pretty much what I'm doing for here. And this is more of a um, passive form of investing. Uh, but I do, you know, keep track of it. I do tweak it every now and then. Uh, but Acorns is very passive. You just pretty much set it and forget it. Sometimes I even forget I have it on here. Um, MO Finance is more, more active investing. Not really, but it is more active than uh, Acorns, but it is technically passive investing. And this is my growth account. So $35 a day in here, $10 a day. No, I'm sorry, $35 a week here, $10 a week in Acorns. And as you can see here, this is probably my best performing portfolio uh, as of right now. But um, let's go on to the next, which would be Robinhood. And here is my Robinhood account. Strictly dividend growth investing for this Robinhood account. $3,230.21, guys. And as you can see on the week, I'm up about $11. I'm sorry, on the day I'm up $11. On the week, I'm up $16. On a month, I'm down $62. And on the three months, I'm up uh, $197. Ford is slipping. MJ is slipping. PSEC and Verizon is in red as well. I'm not worried about that because this is just a, um, I'm not necessarily 100% worried about the gains. I'm more worried about the dividends I'm getting from them. And believe me guys, these dividends are coming in uh, on the daily, not on the daily, but Definitely getting a couple every week from these. I do have quite a few um, monthly dividends, which is contributing to the growth of the portfolio. As you can see here, I already gained a couple for the month of February. Still have a couple for the month of February, and I also have some popping up for March as well. But I'm putting $50 a week into this bad boy, and this is my active, 100% active uh, portfolio. So meaning I'm on here every day, I'm either buying or not necessarily selling, but um, trying to grow my portfolio every day. Every now and then I will do a swing trade or a day trade when I know something is gonna happen on here, but this isn't necessarily the platform I wanna do it with. We are all green on this, uh, we're green on this bad boy too, basically. So I am up on here with adding $50 a week plus reinvesting my dividends. So M1 Finance, $35 a week. Robinhood, $50 a week, and Acorns, $10 a week. Now, my next and biggest uh, portfolio is going to be <clears throat> my retirement account. And this is the first time I'm showing this on this YouTube channel, um, on this channel in general. And I just wanna, I'm just trying to be as transparent with you guys as possible, showing you what I'm doing to actively pursue my goals of um, retirement, early retirement, um, and just overall making more money in the stock market and side hustling and everything away from my job. But, so as you can see here, $15,098 and 18, oh, 16 cents. My biggest 
a contributor to my $20,000 portfolio uh, or class, you know, set of portfolios or whatever. Um, but there's a reason to split into two. So I'm gonna show you guys here right now. Um, my 401k plan, $13,045.13 is basically, if you don't know what a 401k is, <clears throat> they offer it through your job and they match you up to a certain percentage. And I have mine just to the end of the percentage match. So I'm not doing any more or any less. I'm at the max that they match my percentage up. Everything else I'm putting in my other accounts. <clears throat> so next we have the next portion of this uh, Merrill Lynch portfolio is the ESPP. If you don't know what that is, that's impurred. That's the, if you don't know what that is, that is the Employee Stock Purchase Program. And it's 13% of my portfolio, roughly $2,000. If you don't know what the ESPP PP is basically the company that I work for is a publicly traded company, meaning it's on the stock market and they offer a purchase program for their employees, for their stocks, uh, for shares of their company, of the company. So when I buy shares of this company that I work for through Merrill Lynch or through the company, I get an automatic discount on the stock. So if it's, you know, hundred dollars i get a 15 percent discount so then i'm really getting the stock for 85 bucks but there is a time limit you have to wait for them to mature so i'm not worried about the maturity date but since i started this job i have uh, been contributing one percent to my espp which is why it is not as big as it should be but it's okay because i just started the one percent which they add money in it every quarter so basically they take money out every check and at the end of every quarter that's when they, we buy a lump sum of uh, stocks for this company but guys i'm gonna get out of this phone as you can see here my total amount is like i said uh where's it at nineteen thousand two hundred twenty six dollars and 77 cents so and this is just the beginning of what i'm going to be um contributing like i'm i'm definitely planning on ramping up moving money around especially in the next few months guys so so guys 175 dollars a week i'm investing throughout these four portfolios i definitely want to add another 25 and make it 200 a week which would be uh, pretty awesome pretty great but we know that uh <clears throat> we know that sometimes life doesn't allow you to do that with bills and other things that pop up but soon i will Probably within the next month or so, I'm going to add another 25 to my total investing for the public accounts that I'm showing you guys. Um, but listen, but guys, it's never too late. Even if you're old and you're watching this, it's never too late to start investing, to start planning for your retirement, guys. So with that being said, if you don't have any type of retirement account, if you don't have any type of investing account, um, I'm going to leave a link for Acorns in the description where if you sign up and fund your account, you'll get $5 and I will get $5. I'm going to leave a link for M1 Finance where if you sign up and fund your account using the link in the description, you will get some money, you'll get some kickback from it, and I will get a small percentage of kickback from it as well. You don't pay me, the company pays me. Um, and for the best one out of this list uh, for Robinhood, if you guys want to join Robinhood today, all you have to do is click the link in the description. When you join up, you don't even have to put your bank account information in there. You don't have to fund your account. When you sign up using my link in the description, you will receive a free stock just for signing up and I will receive a free stock as well. And I will open your free stock on the next video if you do so. So guys, once again, I'll leave those links in the description. If you want to use any of them to sign up, um, they are affiliate links. I just have to tell you guys that. <clears throat> so. These are my investment accounts. Let me know in the comments below uh, how many accounts you guys have. If you have one, two, three, four, these are my main four that I'm showing you guys on this channel. But guys, look, um, I'm gonna get out of here. So if you enjoyed this video and you learned a little something from it, please go ahead and hit that like button because it really helps this channel with the YouTube algorithm. You know we're real small channel just trying to build and grow and help you guys so go ahead hit that like button and appease the youtube guys for me <laughs> also if you're still watching this video and you haven't hit subscribe yet go ahead and consider 
hitting that red subscribe button, turning it gray to join this little family we got going on because you know we're trying to hit the 400 before the end of the month. And we're getting closer and closer every day, guys. But uh, look, if you want to continue your journey to financial enlightenment, go ahead and click one of these videos. All right, guys, look, I'm out of here. I'm going peace.